You all have asked for it, so here I am with the Cosmeto One Tigress Backpacking Tent. This is the first part of four videos. This is a preview. We will have a before you buy, which is the setup video. We will have a test night, which we will test this tent for waterproofness, ventilation, and so on. And ultimately, part four will be the review. So here we go, everyone. I'm going to set up this tent. We'll go over some stats, and together we'll take a look at the Cosmeto tent from One Tigress. Doing a component breakdown, you have the body, the fly, poles, stakes, and the storage bag. The color of this tent is coyote brown, and as you can see here with the body, it features a lot of mesh. When it comes to the poles, there are three of them. The retail price is $167. At the time of filming, you could find this tent on Amazon for $130. Currently, this tent is available in coyote brown only. It is a freestanding tent. It has two doors. It is a two person. And the weight of this tent is 5.4 pounds. Before I put the fly on the tent, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the tent body because there are a few things here that are different, that are unique. Let's go down here to the corner of the tent. In each of the corners, you have tensioners. It goes from the corner down to the pole. And you can put tension on this, which will pull the pole closer to the body, which will make the entire tent much tauter. <laughs> is that how you say that? I'm not sure. That, my friends, is unique. I've never seen that before. So, way to go, One Tigress, for stepping outside of the box. Through testing, we will see just how useful of a feature that really is. After looking at the tensioners in each of the corners, let's focus on the tent body itself. What you have here are upside down T doors. You have a zipper for each. You could tie back the doors themselves. The floor material has been taped. And you have large pockets at both the front and the bottom of the tent. Additionally, you have a hook at the top as well. As I continue with the setup process, let's talk about materials. The poles are aluminum. It features aluminum stakes. The floor material is a 75D nylon. Now, let me say this, everyone. The information on the One Tigress website is a little bit confusing. They refer to the fly as a polyester and also as a nylon, so I'm not sure which one is correct. So it's either a 20 denier polyester or a 20 denier nylon. The mesh material is a 40 denier nylon, and this tent features YKK zippers on both the body and the fly. Speaking of the fly material, whether it be nylon or polyester, it does feature a 1500 millimeter hydrostatic head rating. Let's go ahead and take the tape measure here and measure this tent real quick. To start off here, the peak height is three feet, five inches. The width of this tent is four feet, five inches. And the maximum length of this tent is seven feet, four inches. Without a doubt, the measurements of this tent are impressive. This really is more of a two and a half person tent. Anyone could sleep inside of this. I mean, as long as you're not over seven foot, most of you aren't, you're not going to have an issue. Now let's focus on my first impressions when it comes to the setup process, the quality, and so on. So the setup process, very simple, nothing to it. The quality so far is impressive. I say that knowing this. I just set this up for the first time. I haven't tested this. That doesn't mean that you should go out and buy it. Take everything that I'm saying here with a grain of salt. We have to test this out. I have to get this out into the rain, out into the storms to see how well it performs. I have to give you all my review that's when you go to purchase a product if you want to. With that being said, everyone, my initial impressions are very, very good. The quality here looks to be excellent. There are a few things that I could see that could be improved, but they are minor. You could do these little fixes yourself. For an example, here at the top and also the bottom, there are stakeout points, so you can pull the fly away from the body. Those are non-adjustable, and if the ground is not completely level, you may have a hard time getting a perfect pitch with this tent. Because of that, if you replace the existing lines or even add to them with some shock cord, it'll make the setup process super, super easy you will be able to set this up in any way that you want to. A little piece of advice for any company that makes tents. When it comes to the stake out points, those need to be shock cord. They need to be able to stretch. That will help with the tent staying taut all night long. Any sort of material will stretch somewhat. Some materials will stretch more than others. By having shock cord as the stake out points, 
you eliminate the need for the user to make adjustments throughout the night or depending on the weather conditions. That tension will always be there, pulling that material tighter and tighter as it gets looser and looser. No matter what, it's an easy fix if you want to make those adjustments to your own tents. You could buy shock cord from like Amazon or wherever you want to. At the top and at the bottom, those stake up points, that is a very minor complaint. The corners feature reinforced stitching. All that stitching has been seam taped. So far, I do not see any loose threads. You can see here, you have a storm flap that goes over the zippers. The storm flap does feature Velcro here in the middle and also down at the bottom to keep it into place. So you have a vent right here and you have one here. Looking up underneath this vent, you can see that it has a storm flap to prevent water from reaching the body. That's smart. That is smart, folks. I'm not sure if I've seen that before. It does solve the problem that a lot of tents have. With a lot of tents, they have those vents, but the rain, the water could be blown right into the tent body. And that's not the case here. Everything on the inside of the tent looks very good. You have a bathtub floor, minimal seams. It looks like the airflow is going to be excellent with this tent. Of course, we will find out in the test night episode if that's true or not. I almost forgot everyone, the stored measurements are 23.6 inches by 6.3 inches. To go over what is included with this tent, you get the body, the fly, the storage bag, you get 10 stakes, 4 guy lines, and 3 tent poles. And for the most part folks, that wraps it up for the preview. What do you all think about this tent so far? In my opinion, this tent has a lot going for it. If this tent is waterproof, if it has no issues, this is going to be one of the best bargains out on the market today. The size of this, it's very large, especially for a two person tent. Without a doubt, this is a two and a half person tent. While it's not the lightest tent on the market, the price is really good and it's going to be right for many people. And that's important to me personally. If you follow the channel, you know that I don't shy away from reviewing expensive gear, but my primary focus is on budget friendly products. I'm always on the lookout for good quality at a good price. While other channels only review expensive products, that's not the case with the Outdoor Gear Review. I take a look at a wide range of products, and unfortunately when it comes to budget-friendly products, a lot of those products fail in many ways. So hopefully, what we have here is a good quality product that will withstand some rain, withstand some wind, and ultimately everyone, we will find this out together here on the channel. This has been the preview. Coming up next will be the setup episode, which will go over every single step of the setup process. This is important information that you need before you make a purchase decision. Then will come the test night episode. We will get this out into the rain, into the storms, and we will see how well it performs together. We will test it for waterproofness and also ventilation, condensation, and so on. Then ultimately will be the review. And who knows, I may even take this tent out for an adventure. We shall see. But. As it stands right now, this tent is looking really, really good. Share your thoughts down below. I do appreciate it. Hit the thumbs up because it does help. Strength and honor, everyone. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye, folks. God almighty. <laughs> Let me tell you this, folks. The flies out here and the bugs have been driving me crazy. It has finally warmed up and they're just insane. It's flies and sweat bees, millions of them. So the entire time I've been filming this episode, it's like being tapped <laughs> nonstop. It's driving me nuts. I do that for you. <laughs> Bye, everybody.